Let's build a k-means clustering model to get there in two minutes. I'm using this small segmentation data set from Kaggle. I like this one because it's already clean and a small data set so we can move pretty quickly. The first thing we're going to do is visualize our columns using pair plots. This will allow us to see how the variables are distributed individually and in pairs. Let's first look at the charts on the diagonal which shows us the distribution of each feature. From this plot we can already see that the first two variables are slightly skewed but we don't have to worry about outliers. Then we look at the scatter plots which show us how each pair of variables are distributed. I want to draw your attention to this pair that's highlighted. This is spending versus annual income because you can already see two clear groups starting to form the high spenders versus the low spenders, even at the same income level. This means it's probably going to be a good candidate for clustering. Next, we want to standardize our features. We saw in the previous plots that the numeric values are on very different scales. So standardization will make sure that not one value dominates our distance calculations in k-means. After standardization, this table confirms that the scale features now all have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, which means our data is clean and prepped and we're going to start building our model. So the first step is to identify the number of clusters we want to use. I'm going to use the elbow method here. I'm just going to eyeball this and say the elbow is happening around five clusters. And now we're on our final step. We're going to finally build and fit our k-means cluster model and visualize it. I like these visuals. I find it the easiest way to explain and understand our models. So here we can see our clusters have a relatively nice separation. This is just a very quick demo of k-means clustering. You could definitely improve on it by adding more features, tuning the model parameters, or interpreting the clusters. Go give this a shot and give me a follow.